Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you how cryopods work. If you are in the public test realm, you can actually go out and check out how all of this stuff works. You can see I got the cryo fridge. I've got the cryopod in my inventory. And it's basically super easy to use because they're unlockable at level 50. Now, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and consider subbing to the channel. I'm getting super close to 100K and it's been my dream all along. So anyways, there's a whole bunch of new features about these. So cryopods are no longer releasable if you are not near a cryo fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean by that, right? So if I go away from my cryo fridge, which is over there and I throw it out, you're gonna notice there is no cryo fridge nearby nor ready, so you can't actually throw it out. Now that kind of sucks, right? So you have to be within a certain distance of these. From my testing, it kind of seems different depending on different factors, uh, depending on where the cryo fridge is, how elevated it is, and all kinds of stuff. I, anywhere from 10 to 15-ish seems to be the range foundations away that you can actually place a cryo fridge and throw out a tame. I think it also has something to do with tame size because it's got to fit totally inside of the little circle that it creates. And then that's kind of like how you throw them out. So anyways, let's go back to the very basics, right? So you can unlock cryopods at level 50. So you can go ahead and see cryo fridge and cryopods. You can see what's actually required in order to do it, but you can only craft these things at a replicator, supply crate or tribute terminal. So it is no longer required to learn to have, or I guess, to have access to a tech repi in order to craft cryo fridges and cryopods. You can unlock and use them inside of cry, uh, supply crates and then terminals as well. So your red, green and blue op. So that is helpful because it's much easier to unlock these now because people were experiencing massive base lag and stuff like that just because the tames were all over the place. Now the cryopod is just like the old cryopod. It goes down in durability. You can see a countdown timer right there. It's going to go 30 days and it's going to slowly count down. And when you put them inside of a cryo fridge, that's actually going to recharge them. You can see where it says charging back to 100%. Now then it'll go back to 30 days. So as long as you place them inside of a cryo fridge every 30 days, you are good to go. Now, the cryo fridge works a little bit different as well. So you can place down a cryo fridge. They will snap to each other, just like you can see here. However, you're going to see that cryopod deployment prevented for five minutes using this specific fridge. You can still use this cryo fridge and it will still charge things, but you can't actually deploy a cryopod for five minutes as long as that cryo fridge is activating. So in the activation process, you cannot throw down a cryopod. However, you can charge things. But after that five minute window, you'll see where it goes deploy cryopods nearby and then it's going to allow you to throw cryopods. So hopefully that makes sense. So far, it's it's pretty simple, right? However, there's a few basic things that have changed, right? We have a Quetzal here. Now, if you are near an enemy tame, whether it is dead or not dead, I want to make this very clear. You can see I've got a dead Megatherium that is an enemy tame. So if I was to try and throw out any tames, you're going to see that there are enemies nearby and you cannot deploy them. You have to get a safe enough distance away, which is obviously not ideal when you're trying to deploy a cryopod, because if someone's got a body and you just beat somebody, but you need a new um, thing, you got problems. You can't deploy it near any alive or dead enemies at all. So just be aware of that. So you have to find a location that is safe enough, i.e. around here. It's about the same distance from an enemy that it is to actually get within the cryopod range. So I can throw out my dodo as long as I'm not too close. Now, there doesn't seem to be any restrictions on picking dinos up as long as they haven't taken damage. If they've taken damage in the last 60 seconds, you cannot pick them up. So just be aware of that. Um, but if they haven't taken damage, you should be just fine. So if, no, this doesn't work on a, on a PVE server, by the way. You can throw out any dinos near anyone else's stuff. But on PVP servers, if there's an enemy nearby or an enemy tame, you cannot throw anything out, right? So there is also a range limit as well. Technically, ARC has released it as 3,500 is their range which even though it's supposed to be a solid number, it seems to change a little bit depending on a few factors. I'll go ahead and harvest this body so you can see what I mean by that. Um, but it changes based on a few different things. It seems to change on the distance that you are up in the air. I don't know why it seems to change it a little bit. It can sometimes change based on the number of cryo fridges. I don't think it's totally ironed out yet, but it's supposed to be give or take 
let's call it 12 ish foundations 12 13 foundations is the approximate distance so if i was to go out here and this is about 11 foundations right here by the way i was to go out here to like 15 right and i try and throw out my racks you're gonna see no cryo fridge nearby now, i try and throw out my racks there enemy structures nearby if i go here enemy structures if i go here enemy structures enemy structures that shouldn't be the case actually i know for a fact that there's no enemy structures nearby so that's interesting I wonder if it's actually detecting this, is it? No, it's not. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I wonder if it's detecting this, actually, as an enemy structure. Could be the case. Let's test. So, now that we've figured that out. So, that's fun. So, as you just saw right there, a, a supply cache, if it is not picked up, counts as an enemy structure nearby. I didn't realize that until right now, so that's kind of interesting. So you can throw it out, but as long as there's no enemy structure nearby. And you're gonna notice he went at about 11 or 12 foundations, right? However, the negative side is I cannot pick him up anymore. So that kind of sucks because he's in the cry of sleep. Now, if I was to take this Dodo, come on, Mr. Dodo, move a little bit further, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take him to like 14-ish. So this is about 14 right here, no cryo fridge. This is about 13. That's that's right about where the limit is right there. So 13 foundations and it seems to be good to go. So that is the exact distance and everything like that that it seems to work. If you were to cryopod anything with stuff on its back, so if I was to take this guy right here and cryopod him, it's going to demolish what's ever on its back, so that didn't change. For the most part, they work the same. The actual pickup time is about the same. But the only major difference is you're not actually able to take a cryopod and use it anywhere on the map. You have to have a cryo fridge nearby that has been activated. And it doesn't matter, by the way, if it's got power or not. It just needs to be nearby. So if I was to take this right here, right, it's still going to work. It just needs to actually have power. I mean, not power, that five minute cooldown, and then you can throw out a fridge or throw out your tames near the fridge. So it works almost identical to a mod in Arc Survival Evolved called Dino Storage V2. And uh, that's a, if you have never seen that or you're still playing Arc Survival Evolved, uh, evolved then you should check that out but anyways that is completely the cryopods completely explained hopefully this video helps you out and again if you don't mind smash that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and consider subbing to the channel all right teach out